I am so happy and excited to have Tiffany back from Nook and Cranny. We're hoping she's going to be able to come by once a month and maybe teach us something new. And last time I made a big faux pas and I said she's going to teach us crafts, but it's so much more than that. It's <laughs> projects. It's so much more than crafts. So sorry for my faux pas. Oh, you are no. totally fine. <laughs> so show us what you have. How do we make it? Where do we get it? What do we do? Well, um, this month is our October Take and Make Kit Project, mm -hmm. and we thought we'd do something that we could use for Halloween and then carry it over to Thanksgiving. So we came up with these uh, wood pumpkins, and we are going to be selling the kits, which you'll get two different sizes, but this is something that somebody can go to a craft store, Michael's, you can get some reclaimed wood. If you can't cut out a pumpkin, you can draw a pumpkin yourself. They have traceable things that you can get, all kinds of possibilities. So you don't have to actually use a pumpkin cutout, right. um, but we will have these in our kits. And we're gonna have two different sizes. It's gonna, be, it's gonna come unfinished, and in all of our kits, we're gonna supply the colors of the paint that you'll see. We always have sandpaper, sponges, a paintbrush, some fancy little embellishes. And then what really makes it stand out are gonna be our stencils. And again, like we said last time, you can get stencils at craft stores. Um, I love it when people use freehand yeah. and, and they really get yeah, creative. No, no. But, but I've, I'm not I've that, tried freehand I'm, and it ain't pretty. <laughs> I'm the same way, which is why that we do these stencils. So yeah, we will provide yeah. these stencils. Um, today we're gonna to be doing the give thanks ones mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. These are freestanding, um, so that you can put them on your mantle. They're so cute. You and can, it's so exciting because if you're in Pinellas County, you can get all of this. It's everything you need, which I love. Yes. Then you, you don't have get to go it, to the craft store and pick up this and pick up that. This is everything you absolutely need if you're in Pinellas County. You'll get the information at the end, but yes. I'm just excited about yes. that. Yes, so we'll have it all in there for you. We're gonna have two different options, the give thanks option or the pumpkin option, the jack-o'-lantern option. And this one my kids actually made with mm -hmm. me sitting on the floor at home. So it's a great way because you know our workshops are adults only. Mm -hmm. It's a great way for you to get your family involved get at home. Get your kids involved. They love it. They, my kids beg me all the time, can we paint, can we paint? We use latex paint, Sherwin-Williams. You can use any kind of craft paint. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm picky with my kids because they get it all over themselves. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I try to use a, a different kind of craft paint. But anyway, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint this entire thing orange. And I've already done one here for you so that we can get the process started, but it's gonna come unfinished. I like to sand first mm -hmm. to just kind of get the, excuse me, the wood not so rough. Mm -hmm. And this just kind of gets the process started. So you're gonna sand over your entire raw wood and then you're gonna paint the entire thing orange with the orange paint. And then the next step is to apply our stencil. And it's just like a big sticker. You're gonna I just love the stencils. Yeah, it's like really I said, I tried to freehand. We went and painted ceramics with a friend the other night, and I tried to freehand a sunflower. I mean, how hard is a sunflower? <laughs> and it was ridiculous. So the stencils are so fabulous. They really are. They really are. I cannot draw a stick figure. Yeah. I'm just terrible. So this really makes life so much easier. So and it looks so professional. It really fun. does. People are really surprised when they come to our workshops that they made this because it looks like something that they bought in a store. Oh, sure. I have the... Um, the, uh, uh, it is well with my soul palette in uh -huh. my si in my living room, and someone was like, "You made that?" They were shocked. Yeah, and I'm like I made it. You, with my I own made it. I hands. totally made it. It's so empowering when you come it in and you make something, it's and then so especially when and now you're getting you. more and more into power tools. And oh yes, we've the whole place is stocked with power tools. So what you're going to do next is take your um, accent color, which in this case we're using brown, and you're just going to dab it all over your stencil here. And Mitch, just make sure you're going over your letters. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. look back at your first, um, because it was like a Pinterest workshop. That it was a very first we did it Do you look back at that and just go, oh my gosh, how I kinda, far have we come? I kind of cringe. I feel bad. It was 2013 <laughs> we did it, and it was a blast, and everybody loved it. But I look back at how far we've come and what we're doing like now. so far. You've it's, come it's so a, far. Amazing, it's amazing. A huge amazing. difference. So I'm you, always excited every time I see an updated post of something new that you guys are doing. It's well, with, so exciting. With Pinterest these days, the possibilities are endless. So we use that for a lot of inspiration and for our And some people want to do all that stuff, but to go out and to purchase everything you need to do some of this stuff, it's, it's just not labor it's, intensive and expensive. It's not reasonable. Yeah, that's the and thing. And your prices are so Well, and that's why reasonable. we started our workshops. Yes. Just, but this is great for people to be able to do at home. So you just basically take the paint, you dab it on over your stencil, and you can get these kind of stencils at the store, maybe not this exact one. Mm -hmm. And then you peel the stencil off. And this one actually has little insides here. Mm -hmm. I'm use my handy dandy fingernails. And like she said, you you know, this is what comes in the kit, but you could use, I mean, orange for the pumpkin, of course, but if you wanted to do different colors, you could easily do different colors exactly. too. And, um, and then you just embellish it with some lace, some ribbon. We've got some burlap that'll be included. Tie it to the top and this kind of makes it just a little fancier. And then at the end, 
and they have, they'll have little stands on yes, the Yes, this one doesn't have it. And these yeah. stands, actually, I didn't have the stands at home with me, so these are kind of it's kind of rigged together, but our stands will be on oh, the back. Oh, if you could see the back of them. No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at the back of these. <laughs> so then you would do the give, and then you would... And then and you would repeat the same process with, right, the with the things on the other pumpkin. And then you've got your give things or your jack-o'-lantern, and they're perfect for the holidays. That is so great. Is that so much fun? It's so exciting to me. I just love making stuff. It's, yeah, it's amazing how you can just transform a boring piece of wood Boy, into something yes, like that. Yes, and you did it. And that's I what's did. So fun it was about so it. exciting. <laughs> so her information is coming up on the screen. We're so excited to have her. If you have any questions, you can Facebook me. You can message her. We're so happy to have you. Thanks for coming. Thank you so and much we'll for having me. We'll see you next good. month. Sounds good. Okay. We'll see you later.